Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Thursday, January 20th, 2021, 2022. And my name's Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. And that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Robin. Hey, Jean in North Dakota. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hey, Sherry. Good morning. Um, if you are new to me, I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 20 years now. And I do this as a full-time job. So I offer all kinds of events for people to take online, virtually, you know, get the kit in the mail, stamp at home with PDF tutorials, as well as some in-person events here in Texas. And um, also an option to check out supplies and stamp at home for some of my events here in Texas. So all kinds of things I offer. This is my full-time job. Good morning, everyone. Hello to um, Cindy and thanks for sharing, Cindy. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Martha. Good to see you. And Rhonda, Jackie, good morning. Thanks for sharing, Martha. Hey, Linda. And uh, there's two Lindas. Linda in Mansfield says it's chilly. Yes, it is 27 degrees right now in Midlothian. <laughs> and um, yesterday, before the cold front came through, it you didn't even need a jacket. So it's crazy, of course, but I know there's... Lots, I can actually see the news right now on my TV. Lots of people in some really cold weather right now. It's actually colder, uh, well, I don't know if it's colder, but they have like um, possible, you know, very slight um, weather advisories south of us in Texas. So anyway, it's crazy. But yes, very cold here. I have my little space heater going beside me today, but I'm sure after I talk for a while, I'll have to turn that off. So, Stay warm, everybody. Hey, Joni, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Hey, Pat, thanks for sharing. Margaret in Rhode Island, good to see you. Brenda in Ontario, love it. Thanks for sharing, Margaret. Hey, Stacy. And Sue in Wisconsin. Did you say, let me see that. Yes, cold Wisconsin. <laughs> um, okay, so today I'm going to be making, I'm like, where are my stamps? three cards with a new stamp set called Island Vibes from Stampin' Up. Um, this is a celebration stamp set. So as a Stampin' Up demonstrator, you can purchase from me all of the Stampin' Up products. We have basically three catalogs right now, but it's all online in the online store as well. Of course, if you need catalogs, just let me know. Most of my customers should have them by now, but let me know if you don't. And um, all of this is in the online store, but that stamp set I'm using today is from this catalog, which is the free, free, free catalog. Oh my goodness, Tammy is in minus 19 degrees. Woo! So 26 is not sounding so bad, 27. <laughs> um, that's crazy. So everything in this book is free, one way or another. This stamp set's free with a purchase, $50. You you can select it for free, but you can select a bunch of stuff for free with a $50 purchase. Um, and then there's a couple of items that are free with a $100 purchase. There's a host set you can get by purchasing or hosting a party of 300 or more. And then of course there's a joining special with this catalog as well. And all that ends February 28th. So anyway, as a demonstrator, you can purchase all that product through me. It supports my business. And uh, in general, I always have rewards for you either in your class you're getting a class at, you know, free with a purchase or discounted. Um, or when you place online orders with me, I have ordering specials as well. So thank you very much. And also by sub, uh, just watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, you are also helping support me. So thank you very much. So I don't think I said this part already. I got off track but um the three cards i'm gonna make you have a chance to win those in by watching today's video and commenting or sharing and comment that you shared because these platforms keep that private um those get you two entries and um 
So that that's how you get the entries because that's what I can track. But even watching it, even clicking a heart or a thumbs up or a laughing face or whatever, all that helps my business. So thank you very much. Um, good morning, Margie. Good to see you. Let me go back here. I think I got Cindy. Hey, Pam. Good morning. Jean is in minus 16 in North Dakota. Mary Ann, good morning. Yes, I will definitely stay warm today. Margie. Oh, I said hi, Margie. Sorry. <laughs> Becky, good morning. G Ann shared. Thank you very much. Karen in New New Newfoundland, Canada. I can say it. I think it's Newfoundland, right? That's how you say it. I don't know. Um Charlotte and Shirley, good morning. Yes, Shirley's cold over here in Midlothian. Hey, April, good morning. Shannon, good morning. So, I'm glad to see everybody here. Um, let me jump in. I'm using my phone today, so I don't have all the graphics, which I'm sure you're fine with that. But um, we think maybe we figured out the issue with my internet dropping out on the other platform. So... We're going to try that once we can test it out. And But I on my iPad, I see it freezing a little bit, and that may be the extreme cold weather. I don't know. Good morning, Pat. Hey, Sharon. Thanks for sharing. Landa, good morning. Oops. Yeah, I see, keep it'll like freeze for a second, and then my face comes back. So, yeah, and then it just said live video interrupted. Um, assuming that's just internet with the weather, so I don't know that I can do anything about that today. And of course, that might just be happening on my iPad. Uh, okay, so classes coming up. Um, these are the ones that I offer in person to go anyone in the U.S. or uh, local customers can also check out the supplies from my porch and take them home and stamp at home. So um, the ones for February will happen on February 19th in person or you can pick them up starting on February 19th. Thank you, Martha, no freezing for her. And then um, they will be mailed on February 21st. There's four to choose from. You can take one, two, three, or four. Card class, scrapbook class, stamp a stack, and sampler. Card and scrapbook are $15, free with a $20 order. By the way, every single one of these is a club you can join as well. Just ask me for the info. Um, card class, I'm going to use the Honey Bee Home Bundle. So it's super cute and it has these awesome dies. So that's going to be a great card class. Four cards, 15 free with a $20 order. Uh, and by the way, links are not out for these yet. Scrapbook is three 12 by 12 pages. Um, then the following month, you either make the matching page or the one that matched the previous month so you want to continue in scrapbook scrapbook club does still have openings by the way and if you're a club member it's only a $15 order instead of a $20 order so there is a perk to being club members in addition that you get host benefits one of the months of club card and scrapbook um, so it's $15 or free with a $20 order unless you're a club member then you only place a $15 order anyway we're gonna make two i believe um i haven't designed these yet so i believe the double will be spring and it's i know i'm using flowering tulips and then the single will be page one of our easter which is using easter friends but anyway you'll make three 12 by 12 pages and if you take this of course i mail you the 12 by 12 sheets as well now you do pay for shipping for the cost of mailing that um product the cardstock to you if you need it mailed but um what was i going to say for sure i'm using flowering tulips and easter friends yeah i i had another thought in my head but it's gone okay then the other two classes that happen on those same dates fe february 19th mailed the 21st take anywhere in the u.s are sampler and stamp a stack so sampler is the 12 by 12 framed art that you can um, hang in your own home, give us a gift, decorate your craft room, etc. Let me see what this one is. Oh, that's empty. <laughs> I have plenty of samples to fill that up with. This is the Halloween one, I believe. Yeah, because it's in the black frame. Um, so this is an old one. But 
12 by 12 framed art, you get your 12 by 12 piece, you get $20 in merchandise with the class fee, which is $28. We cut die cut punch emboss on all of these classes. Any class I'm telling you about, we cut die cut punch emboss, everything possible. You just cut your designer paper and you have PDF tutorial. Um, anyway, we're using Rainbow of Happiness. You're going to get some of that rainbow designer paper from the Celebration brochure with your class fee in addition to $20 in merchandise. Um, oh, where is it? And you'll make a really adorable, fun rainbow sampler. So that's that one. And then Stamp a Stack is 12 cards, $30. You also get $20 in merchandise. It's a great deal. I mean, 12 cards. 30 bucks, 20 in merchandise. The cards are basically free. And we're using Daffodil Daydream Bundle. And in that one, you're going to get some of that Celebration Daffodil designer paper with your class fee. So, all of these, um, the links will be set up by February 1st. Sign up for my email newsletter to get the you know, get those links or and or join my VIP Facebook group. Links to that in the video when it's finished <laughs> on Facebook and YouTube. Um, links to both. Join the email list or the Facebook group or both. All right, next up, get ready for Spring Stamp Camp with Genevieve. I am, uh, lots of people are registered for this. We still have plenty of room because it's virtual. And this is offered in Canada and the U.S., so I have links to join us in Canada with Genevieve Co. Um, that I forgot to write this down, but I believe the links will be in the video description. I can't remember now. But if not, it's for sure, even if you just click my link, which um, will not be in the video description because of Stampin' Up! rules, but it's in the email that's going out at 3 o'clock today. And it's in the VIP group, and you can ask me for it and all that stuff. Um, hey, Linda, no problem. Just finished breakfast. Um, yay, Karen's already registered. Um, what am I trying to say about the links? Just ask me for them. I don't know. Just ask me. Oh, if you click my link, if you live in Canada and you click my link, at the top I have a link to Genevieve's. Once you click my link, it doesn't sign you up automatically. You have to fill out a bunch of stuff, so don't worry. Okay, so what is this stamp camp? We are offering three classes. You can pick one, two, or all three. Cindy says it's great. This is basically a Facebook party. You get to make 10 projects, in this case, using the Rainbow of Happiness bundle and the Happy and Heartfelt stamp set. Of course, that's for our greetings, so use any greetings you want, but these are super cute. And if you don't have these, you can add them on when you register if you choose totally optional. Um, so that's the camp. You get a goodie bag in merchandise. Everything's cut, die cut punched, etc. You stamp and assemble except for your, you may cut your designer paper. Um, and then we will have, you'll get a PDF tutorial and we do, I'm trying to remember what, <laughs> anyway, we hop in the group that day and there's games and there's um, activities and uh, prizes, lots of prizes in this camp. So the Facebook party happens on, let me find this. I had a graphic ready, but then I decided to cancel that. Um, the party is on February 26th on a Facebook group, but it's all recorded. You can be, you can watch it later. And the deadline to sign up is February 1st in Canada, February 6th in the U.S., so that's one of your options when you click that registration link. The second option is my friends. We have two friends classes, Friends of the Forest. This is a, some, we, all of our classes are spring related. So it's going to be a nice springy class. You're going to also, you're going to get the stamp set with the class substitute if you already have it in our registration forms. And you're going to get, um, some designer paper with this class as well. And you're gonna make six different cards, get the stamp set, get the designer paper, etc. Super cute. So you can take just this class. You can take just the camp. You can mix and match. Or you can just take Genevieve's Easter class. So we have Easter friends, so lots of friends stamping with us in <laughs> these classes. And you're gonna make Easter themed 
projects, four cards, two treat packets, get the stamp set with your fee, substitute if you already own it or don't want it, whatever your situation is. Um, just remember, you can register for one, two, or all three. Mix and match any way you want. And we should have all the info in the registration links, but any questions, just let us know. Okay, next up is my Daffodil Daydream card class with games online. So this is a Zoom event. Everything else is just the U.S. Camp, you can take in Canada. Um, so in the U.S., anyone can take this because it's all virtual on Zoom. I mail you a packet with a goodie bag to make at least four projects using Daffodil Daydream. Um, which is a bundle, super cute. I just designed projects with Daffodil Daydream for my team incentive that is Sunday for my Silver Elites and above, um, which I'm very excited about. I think the projects are super cute, but yours will be different, of course. And then the Zoom happens on Thursday, March 10th, 6.30 p.m. Central, and you need to register by February 27th for this one. Okay, so links in the email coming out at 3 o'clock today as well as um, just join my email newsletter or join my VIP Facebook group. Okay, March Retreat in a Box. It's open. You can register now. Retreat. Ooh, Carol just ordered Daffodil Daydream. It's, I had not played with it until I made those incentives uh, projects for my team. And it was, it's really pretty. So now it is great with the designer paper from this book, which is only free with purchase till February 28th. So definitely recommend getting that to combine it as well. Um, okay. I don't remember where I was on the bingo, but sign up by February 27th. Oh, March Retreat in a Box. Yeah, we finished that one. Okay, so what is a retreat in a box? We do have an in-person retreat in March, but it's full. So if you want the same experience, but at home, of course, in the comfort of your own home, you may not live close enough to attend ours anyway, um, comfort levels, all that stuff. So it's offered to go. You get $50 in merchandise. You get at least 10 make and takes with PDF tutorial. You get gifts from us. I actually have my printout here. Um, you always get a bag, an exclusive bag. And then you can add on the two optional classes if you like. Now, if you're taking it to go, of course, the classes don't have any extra shipping. Same with the camp. If you take the camp or the retreat in a box, any classes you add on, there's no extra shipping cost, which is a savings for you. But you can take the classes only with the retreat as well. <laughs> my connection is so bad on my iPad here. Probably I should start it over, but I'll never find the video again. Um, uh oh, I messed it up. Okay, anyway, hopefully I'm still live. Ah, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> I had a black blank screen up there. Um, so we're using Flowering Fields Suite. This is part of what I used last week on um, my Facebook Live, the product, but we're using both of the bundles. So we're using all kinds of cool product in your 10 make and takes and goodie bag. So you can kind of picture what you're going to get in that goodie bag based on that product suite. Um, gifts, like I said, bag. It's, it's fun, 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 fun. We always get good feedback on our retreats. I do this with April McCrite, a friend and team member, and um, we partner on all the planning. Okay. So then the two optional classes, I'm doing a Hello Ladybug class. I'm very excited about it because I also just worked with this product on a team incentive that's tonight, a different team incentive. If you're on my team, there's ways to earn incentives. Totally optional, but you can. Um, and my team, they don't know what they're making yet, so I can't say, but this is a cute project. The ladybugs were not on my list at all when they first came out, but... Then I saw a sample Pat Coats made, and it was super cute, and I ordered it, and I love it. Anyway, this optional class is going to include six cards, three each, two designs, two gift boxes, and $35 in merchandise. It's called Jennifer's Hello Ladybug class. Again, it's to go only for the retreat in a box, and you can only take this class 
only the retreat in a box, only the next class I'm going to tell you about, or mix and match however you want. And the links are out there, so contact me if you need that. Okay, April's class is the Heart and Home class. She's going to use the Honey Bee Home Bundle, along with lots of products from the Heart and Home Suite. And you're going to make 12 cards, four designs, three of each. And again, it includes $35 in merchandise. So these are like mega classes. Okay, so you can register now. Any questions on that, let me know. I'm trying to see. Martha's excited for tonight. I can't remember if this is your first incentive, Martha, because it you may have earned the last one as well. We have quarterly team incentives that everyone in the team can earn. Um, so, okay, talked about retreat. Let me read these notes. Oh, the email, uh, the link will be in the email that goes out at 3 o'clock today. Yes, or join my VIP group. And then we also have a retreat group. It's called Simply Spoiled Retreats. And that's a great group to be in, a Facebook group as well, so that you can be um, notified. Like, they got notified first last night that we planned everything. Here's the details. They got the links this morning. And um, and then for our cruises as well, we use that group. Hey, Hannah. I like how you said hello. <laughs> um, okay. Then we do have in-person retreats that have spots open in May and August, May 12th through 15th, August 11th through 14th in Temple, Texas. So again, join that retreat group, contact me. Um, the links are out there ready for you to register. That's a full weekend. And then when those get closer, we will have retreat in a box for them as well. The ultimate retreat, the very best one is the cruise retreat because it's a full week. Um, it's six classes, so tons of projects. I don't even, like, I can't even count how many projects. Ask Landa. She's cutting them right now. <laughs> um, and anyone can go. It's on Allure of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas, January 2023. So I will have links to that info in all these places as well. So please click that and check it out. If you join, like uh, if you basically register for the cruise now, you have almost a year to pay it off. So, okay, next up, I know I'm really behind on these comments. Oh, am I, because I like closed the window on my iPad and opened it, it's only letting me go back to Linda Carver. Um, can't join, but would love to, no problem. Peggy, good morning. Carol in Connecticut, thanks for sharing, and good morning. France in Vermont, good morning. Jerry, good morning. Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Kathy in North Dakota. Carol, I think I said hi, but hello, Carol. Hey, Liz, good to see you. And Hannah and Stacy in New York, awesome. Is it cold in New York? <laughs> um... Stacy shared, thank you, and Mar uh, Margie, good morning, thank you. So yeah, anyone before Linda Carver, I cannot see your comments because my screen won't scroll back farther. And I know there were more, so I apologize. <laughs> um, okay, Paper Pumpkin, you can sign up for to receive the craft box in the mail. I'm gonna put this real close. <laughs> I have my graphic adjusted so you can see these better. Um, by February 10th, to get a box to make these three cards, I believe it's nine cards. I'm trying to read my notes here. Um, I think it's nine, three of each. They told us, but now I'm not seeing it in my notes. Oh, wait, it's probably on this page. Yes, nine cards and coordinating envelopes. They are safari themed, so I think they'll be fun for anyone from kids to adults. But this is like the first time ever we've gotten this much of a sneak peek. You can basically literally see all three cards. So every kit, which you can subscribe to and get it every month or purchase it as a one-time purchase, every kit comes in a cool box. It gets mailed directly to your house from Stampin' Up!, it includes a stamp set that's exclusive, cannot be purchased anywhere else. This is last month's, or this is the month before last kit. I don't have this month's yet. 
Um, it always includes ink to make your projects. It always includes adhesive and then whatever else you need, like those are dimensionals. <clears throat> and of course the instructions, as well as all the elements to make the projects. So anyone can purchase this. It is $22. And then if you're a subscriber, it's 22 plus um, tax only. So shipping is included. If you go make a purchase, which you can pre-purchase one month, three months, six months, or 12 months, um, there's tax and shipping. But starting at the three month subscription, which is 50, oh, sorry, that's not the price. Um, the three month subscription, you start earning free celebration items, any of your choice. And um, so three, six, and 12 months will earn you a free celebration item right now. So that's a, a lot of people wait and just do the, it's called pre-purchase because you pay it all at one time. It doesn't come out of your account every month. Um, and then when it ends, it ends, whatever you signed up for. However, um, with the subscription, you can cancel anytime. It's very easy. You just log into your account. Don't forget your password. Log into your account and cancel it. And then um, you can also put it on hold. You can restart it anytime, all that stuff. It's uh, Well, I have a link that will directly link you to me in the videos after they're published. Okay, so any questions on Paper Pumpkin, let me know. But they also make great gifts. Think about that for um, anyone you know, <laughs> like kids, people in nursing homes and assisted livings, friends, friends you want to get into stamping so they will craft with you, etc. So, um, Paper Pumpkin is awesome. And then, like I said, I think this month it says it's playful, the um, celebrate every occasion with stamps that say yay, fantastic, and other fun phrases. So, I think it's going to be great for all ages so if you and it says it's a party themed kit but that's all the info on that so um you know if you have any events coming up with kids you might want to stock up on a few of those okay so almost time to stamp i think i'll go ahead and point the camera down um, which i'm going to do the old-fashioned way so hopefully i won't hit the wrong button and end this video <laughs> um because, yeah, the next thing I'm going to talk about is celebration. Darn it. I forgot to print something for myself. Okay, so I'm going to point this down. Here we go. Get to see the ceiling. Flip it. And then I need to do that. Okay, I think we're good. There we go. Now I'll just clip it in so that'll shake you around a little bit more and I may have to adjust my table here um okay so what I have this is just some stuff I wanted to show y'all what I have on my list to talk about next is to remind you just this ends February 28th free gift free gift free gift so many people have taken advantage of it thank you very much of course I've personally taken advantage of it as a demonstrator <laughs> many times over um so for every $50 or $100 you spend, you get a free gift from this book, no limit. Even if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you order through yourself, you get this. But you get a discount on your $50 purchase, so it's even better. So, um, oh, is that super crooked? Wow. Um, so, Island Vibes, I'm using that stamp set today, free with 50. Daffodil Afternoon Designer Paper, free with 50, 12 by 12. Catching Butterflies, super cute set, free with 50. Um, driving By, free with 50. Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Paper, that's the one you're going to get some of with my sampler class. But if you want a full 48 sheets, free with a $50 purchase. By the way, no limit. You spend $100, you can pick two $50, one $100, um, two of the same. There's no limitations during celebration. Only if we run out of something um, anyway. So Simply Marvelous 6x6, again, 48 sheets of that, free with 50. Awesome Otter stamp set, super cute, free with 50. Now, here's our two $100 levels. You can get the Friendly Hello bundle, so stamp set and 12x12 12 12 paper. And these are full packs of 12x12, 12 12, so that's going to be the 12 sheets. Uh, free with 100. I did a video on this. Go check it out. <laughs> 
Um, special moments, a really huge stamp set. It's two sheets of stamps inside that box. I almost used it on my cards today, but did not end up. Um, so two sheets of stamps, free with a hundred. Then there's the gorgeous host set, free with a $300 order or party. That's a single order, of course. Um, and these are system limitations as well. Like we can't do anything about that. It all has to be put in at one time to get the free gifts or the free host. But so if you and your friends have combined orders and we enter them all together as a party, you get this stamp set, Calming Camellia, it's gorgeous, for free. Um, if you place your own order or if you actually, you know, do a party where I host it for you and your friends and family order, we combine them together. You can earn that free. On top of, of course, our other free gifts that you always get when you host a party. And last but not least, joining, hey, Susan. Um, hey, Mary. Sorry. Let me catch up here. Jewel, good morning. Hey, Pam and Margie. I think I got Margie and Stacy. I think. Um, so, joining means you buy our starter kit. You save some money. It's $99. You pick $125 and anything you want from our current catalogs. Um, you don't pay shipping. So, it's $99 plus tax only. $125. And then on top of that, I know y'all can't read this fine print here at this exact moment, but on top of that, you get two free stamp sets of your choice from this catalog or this catalog. Any ones you want. One from here, one from here, two from here, two from here. It doesn't matter. And the only restriction is, of course, you can't pick celebration because that's only free with a purchase. The starter kit is a special deal, not a purchase. I mean a purchase but um and you can't pick host sets because these are exclusive to if you place 150 or more order or host a party so we have all these cute exclusive host sets um that anyone can get with 150 or more order including demonstrators like me so i am starting to order oh the ones from this book now I, I said ooh because my hand, my wrist just gave me a lot of pain. Where are they? Very bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, this one is very popular. Mischievous, mischievous Mice and then Expressions of Friendship also. Those are host ones. So you can't pick those free with your starter kit. But once you're a demonstrator, you can place an order, get a discount. You don't pay the full price. You can choose the host gifts. And you get the free celebration. So, win, win, win. But you can do all that through me as well as a customer and just pay full price. So, your choice. Um, when you join my team, you are part of my team, at least for a little while. There's no obligation to stay a demonstrator. There's no obligation to sell or buy or purchase. Um, you can. You can get a discount, but you don't have to. But there are perks. Like I said, I do quarterly incentives. I do monthly challenges. I do, we do stamping challenges in our Facebook group. Lots of ways to earn prizes and recognition. Okay, enough about that. Here's some things I want to show you. I have this card I received in the mail from Chad Williams. He is the district manager for my area in Stampin' Up! And it's a card about earning the incentive trip last year. So thank you, Chad. But isn't that a cute card? Super cute. I don't know if Chad made it, <laughs> but he did mail it. So thank you, Chad. And then um, this, I finally, I keep saying that I think these new dies, which I was going to use on a card today, but they didn't work out. So I just threw this together. Um, they are called, I'm blanking out. Anyway, they're in this mini catalog. I'm going to find the name. I keep saying that I think it's the same font as my $1 million stamp set that I got to help create when I, it's just my name right there, um, sold a million dollars career with Stampin' Up, which was years ago now. <laughs> um, anyway, so what do y'all think? I think it's really a s extremely similar font, if not the same. Now, amazing is the only repeated word of the two products. They are called, I love these dies, by the way, whether they match it or not. They're called um, Amazing Thanks. 
and they're on page 40. They are bundled with amazing silhouettes. So you can get that 10% off, but the dies do stand alone. But here's the dies. So it's thanks, you are amazing. And um, anyway, what do y'all think? Does the font match? <laughs> I mean, of course, that's a capital A. But if you look at the rest, it's pretty darn close. So I could see combining these. So there wasn't another repeated one to sample. But thanks, friends, or thank you, friends. Um, you could do combining those. Or I could see, like, stamping a background and then having this be your main focus. And there's a second die that cuts a bubble around this for all the words. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. If you don't have Create with Friends yet, I strongly recommend this stamp set. <laughs> so, yeah, um, a lot of people aren't in love with this stamp set, Amazing Silhouettes, so that I love that these dies can stand alone. But um, I have seen some really pretty samples with it. I haven't used mine yet. I do own it, though. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Um, don't forget, when you place an online order with me in January, from January 16th through 31st, 2022, with this host code of $50 or more, I'm sorry, of $25 or more, you're going to get the class packet to make these four cards, 25 or more, online order or email or text me your order and I enter it for you, but separate from an event. Um, with the host code, you get the class packet. Everything's cut, die cut, punch, etc. I did a video on it already. Um, 50 or more also gets you a free full roll of this gorgeous gray granite ribbon, which I'm actually using today, which was just coincidence. But you can get a free full roll of that with a $50 purchase, plus a celebration item, plus the class kit, plus the ribbon. Like, what a deal. Um, now, if your order, when you go to my online store, reaches... 150 or more. I'm still going to give you my gifts, but don't use the host code because then you'll get those host benefits I just told you about. And what it is, is Stampin' Up! gives you a percentage back of what you spent. So at 150, it's 10%. So you get $15 to spend on any current merchandise, including these host sets. So say you wanted mischievous mice. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. It's $12.50 out of your $15. That's how you can get that, in case you didn't know. You don't have to get these. You can pick anything you want, and if you go over, you can pay the difference. But if you want the host sets in either book, that's how you get them. And I still give you my gifts. Um, any questions, let me know. It is one class packet per person per month. So if you ordered in the first half of the month, I had a different free gift with 50 all that. Okay, let's get to our projects today. We're using Island Vibes. This is, to me, one of the, so far, um, lesser used celebration sets. It's red rubber. All my stamps are out because we're using all three today. It's three stamps, but they're pretty large, as you can see, um, and it's super pretty. I, knock on wood, everybody send me good luck. I'm going on a cruise next week. In like two weeks, whenever, on the 30th, I believe. Um, so I have the island vibes right now. So it's perfect. Um, let me make a little space over here. See if I can scoot that over. Okay. So, the, by the way, also, all my cards today are pretty simple. So you may or may not be blown away. <laughs> Probably not. But I like them. So I hope you do too. Okay, so let me see here. I'm going to look at my comments real quick. Thank you guys for sharing. That does help me, and that gets you a second chance after you comment. Then comment that you shared, if you really shared, <laughs> um, to win these three cards I'm going to make today. So they are, um, hey, Kathy, good morning, and Julie, good morning. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Julie says, did you book any excursions? I personally am waiting until I'm on the ship, Julie, to see if we can really get off the ship, which I, because that can change day by day. And also, honestly, to see if they offer any special offers. So personally, I have not booked any excursions. 
Um, just because Julie's going on our cruise. Uh, I don't know if I was going to say something else because I can't remember, but simple cards. These are the pieces for the first card. I have my card base, which you take your eight and a half by 11 card stock and cut it in half. You get two cards out of one piece of paper. Measuring's easy. You don't have to memorize anything crazy. Just cut it in half. So that's five and a half by eight and a half, or you can do the other direction too. Um, and then when you fold it, it fits into the invitation size envelope, which we sell, of course, the best quality ones called medium envelopes. Okay, so I'm going to use my bone folder to fold. So I leave it on the table, leave the paper on the table, rest the two edges against my thumbnail. And of course, I'm aligning these corners. And then I barely pinch as little as possible with my finger so that I can do all the folding really firmly with my bone folder. That gives me a super clean, uh, not, let me start over. That gives me the, a much cleaner fold and less wrinkles on the inside than if I use my finger. You can put it to the test and see what I mean. The super clean is if you score it with your paper trimmer, but Jennifer's too lazy to do that. <laughs> um, okay, this is going to be a landscape style card. So then I have a layer of pumpkin pie, which is four by five and a fourth. So I just went down a fourth of an inch both ways. And I'm going to set this aside for now. And then I have an, another layer down three and three fourths by five of basic white. Okay. So this card was inspired. Part of this card was inspired by one, my friend um, and team member, Carrie Ritchie made. So I took our layering circles dies and I believe I have the largest circle here. Let me make sure though. Maybe not. Yes, it is the largest circle in the layering circles, which I think are temporarily not available, but they're coming back. Like, don't worry, they're coming back. Um, and I made a template on another piece of paper that's the exact same size, three and three-fourths by five. So I just cut a hole right in the center, but it's not perfect. Okay, so largest circle, cut a hole. And I did use our thick whisper white, which I personally never use, just... I don't know, but I used it so it would be a thicker template. And you can tell I've already used my template. And then I'm taking our blending brushes. These are stained. These are, I'm not using red today. That's just stained. There's some purple. I'm not using that. The stains don't matter. Just rinse it out until it's running completely clear. Or if you clean it immediately on your Simply Chamois and no ink comes off on your scratch paper, it's clean as well. It just depends on how much ink you like smoosh down into it if you need to go rinse it in the sink or not. Um, so these are clean. They have the colors I'm using. So I'm going to use pumpkin pie and so saffron to make basically like a sunset look. Um, I'm not taping these together. So I'm just going to hold them. I'll show you. And I'm going to use so saffron first. Um, but you do have to make sure you hold it good. <laughs> so you can use like a ad removable adhesive or something if you want. I know Linda, the circle dies are definitely a, like a basic tool. You kind of want to add quickly to your collection. Okay. I can't hold that with my other hand. I'm just going to pick up some sew saffron. I'm going to start on this scratch paper, which is the template so that I don't get a harsh dot like that. Start over here and then pull it onto my cardstock. Uh, you'll have to re-ink it depending on, like I'm a very light-handed stamper, so it's not on purpose, it's just natural. Um, but every time I pick up more ink, I'm starting on the edge, off the project, rolling onto it. Also, this is such a light color that it, um, you'll think you have no color there, but if you check, you'll see your circle is really there. Sometimes you'll think that. Okay, so we're basically, you can use the blending brushes for tons of stuff. But we're, we are basically, you know, making a sunset, putting a sort of yellow circle on here. And you can check it to see if it is how much you want. And then I will move on to pumpkin pie for the bottom portion. Restack here. The reason 
I didn't make this bigger is because larger than my paper is because then I wouldn't be able to center it properly unless I like taped it down from the back. It would be a whole thing. And I didn't make it smaller because I didn't want to go off the edges with my ink and put it on here. So the template is the exact same size. Pumpkin pie. Oh, that was the yellow one. I hope I'm done with that. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> I would be rubbing this like this if I could hold this with my hand like that, but I don't wanna let go. Okay, start off the edge. This is a darker color. You don't wanna have a blotch like that on your card. And again, with these kind of projects, you're just gonna put as much or as little ink as you want. Everybody has their own taste level of how dark and light they like stuff. It looks so cool. I'm not naturally crafty or artistic, so it's pretty cool that it just magically comes out good like that. Oh, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Still amaze myself after 20 years because of not, I truly am not a crafty person. Stampin' Up's tools make it so anyone can do this. Okay, so on, I don't need those yet. On this piece, I'm going to stamp in early espresso ink. Yeah, so anyone can, like, make, oh, you've never tried them, Beverly. You should get them out if you don't have them yet. I mean, if you do have them already. Um, so many cool techniques people do with those. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but I'm just going to stamp on top of this the pineapple image in early espresso. I think what I was going to say is just, this is a great sunset. So like you don't even have to use the template. You just make a sunset on the entire part of your card, add a third color, whatever. You can make water, so many different things. Um, but I'm just giving like the vibe versus it being a real sunset, just like a tropical vibe. So I hope this stamps right. Just going to stamp right in the center um, in early espresso ink. I didn't press too hard. Look at that. When I inked up my stamp, and even without pressing too hard, I got a little ink on the edges. So just tap, tap, tap. And you can move it all over your stamp pad, and you can tap as many times as you want. Just don't push hard down into our ink pads. Um, okay, now my greeting, I just started going through all the stamps we have. Like I said, I was going to use this, and I actually have a rejected card that I didn't even think was good enough to show y'all. Um, but I thought it would look really good with amazing down here, but I couldn't make it show up enough with this dark color here. I heat embossed it. I did all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so I'm um, looking for the stamp set. I decided to go with Lovely You, and which is in our annual catalog, Red Rubber. It has all these pretty greetings, and I used Just Because. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. Because you don't want all these little things. See how there's no ink on the edges there? Knock on wood. <laughs> you don't want that to come off on your card. And I'm just going to stamp this over here to the right. Half partially on the circle, partially off the circle. Literally, that's the card. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> um, that's the card. Let's glue it together and we are done. I don't think it needs ribbon. I think that would take away from it. I don't think it needs embellishments. I think it's dry, but I want to make sure. Um, I'm just going to use my tear and tape here. I mean, my silk tear and tape. I've got that on the mine because it's not orderable right now and I need some. It's coming back in like four days, but this is stamp and seal. And you don't need very much stamp and seal it's super strong. I love it. This is my card. Maybe some wink of Stella, but even that I'd be afraid to smear my espresso ink. So I just think it's a nice, simple card. Thank you, Yvonne. Simple is never a bad thing. Um, so where's my other one? So that is the first card. Love the technique. Carrie's card was way more elaborate, but <laughs> you know, Thank you, Shirley. I know you saw the other card. <laughs> um, 
Beverly waiting for club impatiently. Haha. -ha. Love it. Catherine just woke up. <laughs> I love that. Sarah loves this technique. And Sarah, I know how artistic you are. So I'd love to see what you do with those sponge. Um, what are they called? Blending brushes. Thank you, Amanda and Linda. Hey, Susie. Good morning. Sharon likes the sunset. Look, doesn't this make y'all want either a tropical drink or like a pineapple Dole Whip from Disney, or um, what's the third? Like a sherbet ice cream. It makes me hungry, basically. <laughs> thank you, Robin and Pat. Linda, thank you guys very much. Diane, Diane, Peggy, Lorraine, awesome. So definitely, um, I mean, you guys are commenting, but if you want to. If you comment, you'll have a chance to win these cards today. Three of them. Okay, next up, I'm using on the next card this like potted plant, which obviously must be tropical because it says island vibes. Um, and you could ink each image in a separate color. Like, um, whatever color you want the pot and then green up here and then brown here with markers, not blends, but regular water markers, water-based markers, um, sponge daubers, or even possibly the blending brushes. But I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, so what I came up with to me makes it look less tropical, but this is what this, the vibe it gives me. Anyway, so here's what I'm using for this card. We have a gray granite card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And then we have some In Good Taste designer paper, which is four by five and a fourth. And this one, where is it? This is one of those big packs from the annual catalog. So it's, I believe, 24 sheets of paper. It's got all these natural, um, uh, patterns, wood grains, tiles, like stone, basically. I know y'all have seen this one before, but hey, hopefully there's somebody new watching. So stones, like carpet, it's kind of like home decor, like um, home design, I should say. Paint, etc. So this is a an amazing paper pack. You get all these sheets, 24 of them. You've got your wallpaper, your stone, your carpet your paint, <laughs> etc. Um, that's in the annual catalog. But I used this sheet that has the hexagon tiles. They look like some kind of stone. And I love them. The back is a wood grain. So this is going to also be a landscape card. And then I die cut three rectangles from rectangle stitched shapes. This is the, from this, on the left side, so there's two sections of dies here if you buy these, this is how they come. On the left side of mine, which is the bigger ones, it's the third largest one. So small, medium, that one. Third, third from the smallest. <laughs> anyway. Okay, and I have two gray granite and one Sahara sand. So now I'm going to stamp in gray granite and Sahara sand. So it's pretty simple. I will add this image. Again, it's like a fancy little pot and then a sort of tropical type plant. Someone may know what kind of plant this is growing out of it. Um, so it's got thick wood stems and then little bushes of leaves at the top. So Sahara sand first. It doesn't matter, but that's what I'm going to do first. Right in the middle of the Sahara Sand cardstock. And then I'll clean that off and do the two gray granite. So my Simply Chamois. Simply Awesome. This is one of our past cruise gifts, by the way, that everybody got a chamois on one of the cruises. Um, so you just wet your chamois, squeeze it out. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wet it, squeeze out the excess water, clean your stamps, and you're good to go. But then when this gets too much ink in it, take it to the sink, 
wet and squeeze until you see the water running clear. Um, and then it's good to go again. It gets all stained up. And the cases are sold separately in our annual catalog slash on the online store. So any questions, let me know. Okay, gray granite. Just need two. By the way, on die cutting, if I do have anyone new watching, um, I don't think I'm die cutting on camera today, but I do it on many of my videos. So you can always check that out on a previous video or, or again just contact me and I can send you an exact video. Okay so we have our three plants. Now this one's stamped a little better and on one of the two gray granite ones at the bottom right I want to put a greeting. I actually was going to put a greeting on a separate piece of paper but the way I laid this card out I thought it would interfere and then I was like just add it to one of the things. So the greeting is from, which one is this? Maybe this is from this, I forgot what I did. Yes, it's um, just a little high from me. I forgot I did end up using one from Special Moments. Just a little high from me. So what I needed was something small enough to fit in that area. And I wanted it to be photopolymer so I could see exactly where I was placing it. Um, so I did forget that I went with this, but that one is located right there. Um, and this stamp set, Special Moments, is free with a $50 purchase. What I was going to say is what I like about it is, is it does have different sizes of greetings. So like, hey, comma, boo, hey, boo, is tiny. And the one I'm using right now is pretty small. But then we have like, thanks for brightening up my day, much larger. Happy birthday is pretty large, etc. So it's 21 stamps free with a $100 purchase only through February 28th. They do not come back, by the way. They retire. Okay, so this greeting is going to go down here in the bottom right-hand corner of one of the gray granite rectangles in memento black. Just a little high from me. Okay, so now, now this one does have ribbon. Where did I put that right here? This is that ribbon you can get free with a $50 purchase from me right now with the host code. And um, I don't know what the and is. Oh, plus a free celebration item, of course. Okay, so I folded my gray granite in half, but before I attach my designer paper, I want to tie this ribbon around in a bow. So I have, I'm going to use my reverse tweezers, and I have link a link to these reverse tweezers on my blog, stamptherapist.com, under the Amazon stuff I use. Um if you need some because they're awesome for tying bows and knots. So you get your ribbon to the point of you want to tie the bow or not and you need someone to put their finger there and instead you use your other hand to grab these reverse tweezers and you pinch it closed and then I will turn my project upside down to tie the bow. And notice how I'm not cutting this from the roll so that there's less waste. Okay, now just tie a normal bow. I just thought of a random like side thing. Um, speaking of doing videos, because I was thinking about one I'm doing Saturday in the paper share party. If you missed out on that paper share party, you can still join virtually and just watch, get the PDF tutorial, see all the bonus videos, etc. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Because um, you'll need a a certain link for that. Okay, so I tied the bow upside down so that it'll come out right side up on my project. And now I'm gonna snip, of course. So this is the end or the side that will have no waste. Goes right back to the roll. And then let me lay this out before I attach anything in case I need to shift the bow. So I'm going to have these wouldn't all three fit across here without overlapping them. 
So I'm just gonna have a gray granite, then overlapping down to the right a little, a Sahara sand, and then the other gray granite will be overlapping that one a little bit higher, but not as high as the first one, something like that. So let me pick up this first one and attach it flat. Oh, and by the way, I think the bow is Hey, that's what I was supposed to be checking. I'm gonna scooch it to the right just a little bit. Okay. Make sure it's still straight across. So the left one will be the highest one. And then I also placed the Sahara sand rectangle flat and right side up just see how I'm just checking my positioning before I really press I think that's okay and then stamp and dimensionals on the last one so I'm going to use my mini stamp and dimensionals Ugh. um <laughs> which are my favorite, and I will place five on here. And I could have gone ahead and attached my designer paper after tying the ribbon around to the card base or do it this way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the last one is on dimensionals. It's gonna be overlapping the Sahara sand and it's higher but not as high as the first one. And now just attach this entire thing to my card base. And that's it. So still pretty simple. It did involve die cutting, although you could completely just cut rectangles, of course. And there is the card. Hey, Mary, thanks for sharing. Um, so it's more elegant than tropical, but it's still tropical because of the plant. <laughs> Let me see what you guys say. Any tricks for not getting bow squished when you put it in the envelope? Um, I don't. But also when I receive um, cards from people with bows, they're not really usually too bad. Let me grab a clear envelope. What I would recommend, if that's a problem, is put your card in a clear envelope first, which, um, so this one, I would have it fold around. Of course, it's not gonna cooperate with me on a video. Fold around. push it and do that at the same time. I know it can be done. So what I'm saying is you fold it like this, you put it in the clear envelope and then it's down in there. And then you put that in your white or vanilla envelope and that will help protect it all the way through the mailing process. There we go, see? You just need to not be on a video. Um, and so then when they open that, it's just gonna pop right back out when they take it out of the clear envelope. So that's one uh, piece of advice for that. Plus, a lot of people mail their cards this way anyway. You can also just mail it in the clear envelope, but if you don't want to do that, um, they mail them in the clear, in the envelope for the protection. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, all, but anyway, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. If you want to mail it this way, does wouldn't this look gorgeous to come in the mail like that? You seal it on the back side. You put your address info here and here or slip a piece of paper in here with the address info, but postage stamp on the outside so they can cancel it. I received many Christmas cards this way with just one stamp, but if you're afraid your post office won't accept that, just go inside and get the postage, you know, get them to tell you how much postage to put on it. But those are, you get like 50 for $6. I love them. 
Thank you, Sharon. You could use this for a more masculine theme. Definitely. Um, yeah, for sure. It's almost could be masculine. Just take off the bow. Like, and um, definitely. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, uh, Lorraine and Stacy. You could also do this with totally different, maybe a different designer paper and bright colors with the, the um, pineapples. And that was kind of where I got this idea because lots of people have done the pineapples on three colors of cardstock. Um, <laughs> Carol, I love it. Thank you, Linda. She says the video is playing perfect. Mary's video is skipping. So um, mine is actually, I, oh no, I think mine's still skipping. <laughs> anyway, sometimes when your video is skipping, um, close Facebook completely, go back in, find the video again. Um, because sometimes it's on your end with your internet. So, because, anyway, hopefully. Yvonne says, love special moments. And Sarah, going to use it forever. Definitely a good, um, good stamp set. Okay, so those of you who are saying your video is choppy, it's hit and miss. So, I would close and get back in, but, um... It's a lot of y'all in Texas that are saying that where it's freezing cold. So it's probably our internet here. So, <laughs> close, go back in. Hopefully, the recording will be good, but that's always 50-50 as well. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so last but not least, we are going to use a basic white card base, five and a half, eight and a half. Then a piece of the... Uh, just blanked out on the name. This designer paper, artfully composed, which is from the mini catalog. It's four by five and a fourth, and the piece we're using is Bermuda Bay with white diagonal stripes, and then the Bermuda Bay part is super distressed. So it's got like as if we scraped off the paint, basically. Um, so, really cute there. This is a tropical type paper. We're using this on our cruise called Artfully Composed. I already said that. Um, and it, there's a whole suite of products that goes with this uh, stamp set, dies, etc. So, of course, this paper goes really well with Island Vibes. Free with a $50 purchase. No limit. Spend 100 Choose two, and so on. And the other side that I'm not using has all these gorgeous, really big tropical leaves on it in um, Old Olive. I think that's Bermuda Bay, but like a lighter. Oh, just Jade. Um, Evening Evergreen, etc. And actually, they don't list Bermuda Bay as a color in this paper, but to me, this is Bermuda Bay. It says just Jade. It might be jade, but I used Bermuda as my ink color, so, and it looks good, so we'll see. Sometimes you can do definitely do that with our designer papers. Okay, then I have a die-cut rectangle from the stitched rectangles that I'm going to stamp on. Same rectangles as before. So this one, same side, if you go from the largest, it's the third from the largest. So one, two, three. Third largest. This will also be a landscape card. They're all three landscape today. And then for my greeting, I have a piece of basic white and then a early espresso mat. I'll measure those in a second. And then I have a piece of this gorgeous ribbon, which is temporarily not available, but only until um, uh, approximately four days from now, if the ship comes in, so to say, literally. Um, four days it should be back and you want this ribbon like when you work with it it's almost like addictive that you just want to touch it instead of working with it <laughs> and um Jean says same here Facebook issue that's weird Jean or uh, y'all are having trouble on iPads but not uh, it's so weird yeah I know my iPad never does great for me with internet which I don't get, and that's a new iPad I bought recently, so who knows? Who knows? Okay, so anyway, I have a piece of this gorgeous frayed, it's called frayed ribbon, I think is the name of it. 
Um, it'll be back. It was obviously very popular in the pre-order. So demonstrators got theirs. Um, all right. So my greeting is on a one by three and three fourths. And then I just wanted a tiny little border around that. So the espresso is one and one eighth by three and seven eighths. So a little less than four, a little less than one and a fourth. I give a nice little skinny border. Okay, let me go ahead and get this card base out of the way. I'm gonna have an early video today because these cards are so simple. Yay! <laughs> um, so get that out of the way. Don't forget the ribbon. I'm gonna stamp on the, the rectangle that's die cut and my greeting piece. They're both landscape direction. Where does this go? Um, get some stuff out of my way that I don't need anymore here. Okay, so this is the best stamp in this set, in my opinion. Well, the pineapples really, they're all good, but these leaves are so cool, right? They're big, like, I guess, palm leaves. I don't know the plant names, but they're what you see when you go on vacation to tropical places. <laughs> they're, I picture in real life, they would be huge. Um, and we're going to stamp them in Bermuda Bay. So this card was inspired by another team member's card, uh, Marilyn. So I didn't want to copy hers exactly, so I changed it. Hers was actually more elaborate than mine, like folds and score marks and all this. But I took the basic premise or what idea, which was, and I don't want to um, take too long on this, so I'm when I physically do it. So I'm going to ink up this stamp and stamp it where, so let me describe this stamp for my blind um, customers. It's the the palm leaves or whatever they're called. Let's see if anyone gave me a good name. <laughs> it's these big leaves, like tropical leaves. Um, but it's as if, it's almost like a print from a piece of paper where you cut off the bottom and the left side. So they just end at the bottom and the left side. There's full leaves at the top and right. So it's like a corner, it's a corner. So I'm gonna turn it upside down where the leaves are all facing down. And this rectangle, let me give y'all measurements. It's approximately three by four and a fourth. So I'm basically, when I stamp it with the leaves facing down, I'm gonna center it left to right. And the lowest leaf will kind of be at the bottom. And then I'm going to immediately pick it up, I'm gonna stamp it like normal, pick it up, flip it around, and stamp it at the top. The same way, so I'm looking, I'm trying to center it, and I'm looking to put the top leaf at the top. So if it overlaps in the middle a little bit, that's okay. And that's what you get. You get the darker version and the lighter version. You cover up the center portion. It looks amazing. Now, of course, you could do two different colors. You could not stamp off. You could do so many different things with this. The reason I didn't want to waste too much time was I made one yesterday in prep for this. I made a second one. It's a long story, but I left that bottom one sitting for a very long time. I pressed really hard, then I just left it there. And by the time I picked it up and flipped it, it was super light. So then I made a bonus sample with that. But anyway, I didn't want it to get too light. Okay, that's it. Super simple. And then for our greeting, so thank you, Marilyn, for that inspiration. I'm going to come back to early espresso. <clears throat> and I forgot, I'm using artfully layered for the greeting. This is the one that matches this designer paper has dyes and all that that go with it, red rubber, but it has the prettiest greetings. So we're using happiest birthday wishes because it's nice and long and skinny, but it also has this thank you and sending all the hugs and hey there. It's a really pretty cursive font mixed with not cursive, super pretty. And then it, of course has a couple of leaves and then like a, a bunch of ivy leaf. It's a super cute stamp set. We're using it on the cruise projects. They're so good. Okay, so early espresso, happiest birthday wishes on that one inch by three and three fourths white. Tap, 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 and just right in the center. 
I made this longer than I normally would, so it'll cover up that middle portion there. Then I ended up doing something else, but you'll see. Okay, so these are all the elements I need, except I'm gonna add some faux sea glass. By the way, here's the roll of ribbon. Um, it is called frayed ribbon. It's a white frayed ribbon. 158138. Go ahead and write that down so you can order it when it comes back. <laughs> I'm sure all my demonstrator friends have it already. Okay, so I'm going to attach my greeting to this early espresso. Remember, it's a tiny border, so you have to be like pay more attention to get it right. My leaves that I stamped are going to be flat onto the center of the designer paper. The light portion will be the top and the dark is the bottom. Then the next layer will be my frayed ribbon. So pretty. It like makes me think of winter, but yet it looks good with these tropical and summery cards. So I just put adhesive on the back of my projects to attach ribbon like this. I don't like putting ribbon um, adhesive on the front because, well, I just don't. <laughs> I have my reasons. I think it shows. So anyway, if I can avoid it, I do. That's a little crooked, which what I love about attaching ribbon like this, you can just adjust it real quick. Um, and then I used dimensionals for the greeting because this ribbon is super thick. And the greeting goes right. So that ribbon just went right across the center. And then the greeting is going to go right across the middle of that. Um, so the this paper is barely larger than the ribbon. So I cut little skinny strips. I love that these mini Stampin' Dimensionals, the edges are very wide. They're so much wider than the edges of your thick dimensionals, your big ones. So you can cut them into strips and they're long skinny strips. Hopefully that makes sense. So, I'm going to use four of these skinny strips. I'll put this on white so you can see a little better. That I pre cut with just scissors. I can't see. I need my readers on. Um, I'm going to place them so that they hopefully will go above and below the ribbon on the four corners. And if you want to put some in the middle as well, you can, but I figure the ribbon will hold it up, so it's fine. It just needs to be stuck down to the card. Hopefully this makes sense. <laughs> Happiest birthday wishes. So cute. Okay, then just make sure when you attach your project to your card base that you put adhesive directly on top of the ribbon on the back. Otherwise, from my experience, it can work its way out later. But since I started doing this, it never works its way out. So this just goes on the card base. And then I did think this one needed an embellishment to finish it off. So I was like thinking, I'm like, mm, rhinestones, what? I'm like, oh, the faux sea glass, which I haven't used yet. April did the designing for crews that involved the faux sea glass. I didn't. So I was like, yes, I get to use my faux sea glass. Isn't this the coolest thing Stampin' Up's come up with? So it's like rocks or sea glass or whatever you want it to be. It comes in three colors. I don't know if they're listed on here. Um, that's white. This is with that whole suite of the ab uh, artfully layered right here so number three it is um just jade old olive and white by the way there's a typo in the catalog this ribbon i'm talking about the white frayed is five yards not ten that's a typo okay so I used the Just Jade, my Take Your Pick tool, 
and they're kind of like small, medium, medium, large-ish. So I basically took one of each that I thought. So I put a small one up here on the right in that white section, a sort of medium one. Yeah, medium down here in the, where did it go? I don't know. <laughs> I think I didn't pick it up. Um, down here in the bottom left white section and then one of the largest ones in that same section. And that's it. It looks pretty cool. That's your finished card. I'm gonna check some comments now. I'm trying to read. Want to order this stamp? What stamp can you not order? Yeah, Stacy's right. Like, if you're talking about, I don't know which stamp set you're talking about, but I checked inventory before I went on live, and I don't think Artfully Layered is a problem. I know Island Vibes is not a problem. None of the other ones I showed. Nothing I used today, just the ribbon. So, if you want to type what stamp set it is, I also have that report pulled up over here on my computer. Anyway, I hope you guys like this card. Let me read these comments. Mary Blue, finally ideas for the pineapple stamp. Thank you, Mary. Um, Kim likes this a lot. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Pat. And Kim, hey, glad you're here. No problem being late. Yeah, Linda, I don't know what stamp set she's saying you can't order. You can also go to her online store and just see if it comes up. And if it does and you click on it and it says currently unavailable, yeah, we can't order it. But otherwise, I'm not sure which one it would be. Hmm. Unless it, you know, something crazy happened between an hour ago. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Let's see. Mary says, wish they'd change up the freebies. Not sure if you mean, thank you, Robin, um, the current ones or in the future. But I know they work like a year ahead on creating these, so <laughs> that was a year ago. Um, all right, let me bring, oh, and I have this other sample to show y'all. Let me bring these other samples back in that I made today. Comment, even if you're watching replay, comment, say hi, share, and comment that you shared, etc., to have a chance to win these cards on Facebook or um, YouTube. Either one, if you share it, comment that you shared on YouTube. You can also give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and then comment that you did those to get entered. Um, Mary says future. So, Mary, what would be your suggestion? Do you want different styles? Like, what's your suggestion for future celebrations? I'm curious. Um, Linda, you are welcome. Hopefully that's helpful. I mean, Stacy was the one who answered you first, to give her credit. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what stamp set wouldn't be available. Unless I missed something, which <laughs> we all know that's possible. Um, thanks, Peggy. Brenda says the first one is the best. Awesome, Brenda. I thought so. I mean, it's pretty, definitely makes me hungry, like I said. Oh, Mary says more adult ones. Okay. There is a feedback thing, Mary, um, where we demonstrators can send feedback like that. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what comments I missed, but thank you guys for your comments and um, hello to anyone I missed. This is the card. Um, where when I stamped it, I think it looks good, but I had left this sitting so long that it's see how super, super light the top one is. But then I was like, well, that's where I can use my million dollar stamp set and just put it right there. Plus I kind of aligned this really well, which is not a guarantee unless you've got your stamparatus out. So since I aligned it really well, there wasn't really anything to cover up. I just put amazing on top in black. So that's kind of another version of this card, even more simple, many less layers. And because I put the ribbon behind here, I have two little like, I don't know, two inch strips. It does not go all the way across. <laughs> and then this is on dimensionals. 
So, um, so stamp it just like I did, except let the ink come off a little bit more and then put amazing or any greeting you want right up there. But of course, I would recommend create with friends <laughs> if you don't have that stamp set. So anyway, there's that one. And then this is a card I made in for a card swap I participated in a while back. So it's one of my Z folds. And so it kind of gives you the double Im whatever image of the leaves there, which are my favorite image from this set. Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Look at us finishing early today. Peggy likes the first one too. Thank you, Yvonne. Um, I should be back next week. Thank you, um, Amanda. Awesome. Awesome. I should be back next week. And, um, then the week after I should be on a cruise. So no video that week. But I will update as always through email and posting in Facebook if there's any changes. And I appreciate you guys very much. So I will see y'all later. Thank you.